Hi there, my name is Gaurav Balan and in this particular video, I want to show how you could set opt-in chat campaign for your website or your funnel at a breeze. To begin with, whenever you log into opt-in chat, you'll see this kind of menu and it will say campaigns. As you see these campaigns, as you create a new campaign, you'll be asked the very first question to add your photograph. All right, it's very easy to add your photograph. Uh, just choose one and you're done. Now, other than that, uh, before uh, moving forward, you could see that there is an option of top bar name. Let me demonstrate to you uh, what exactly these things are. Now, if you see on top right here, you could see uh, there is an option which says, uh, you know, this photograph is there and then there is Gaurav Madan. This is how like in real reality opt-in chat looks on your website. All right, so first you have to go ahead and give a top bar name. For example, I'll just go ahead and say Gaurav Madan. Next thing which you'll be asked for is intro text. Now this intro text is really, really something which is very important with regard to opt-in chat because this is what creates curiosity. You know, the visitor is going to be shown a message, uh, an auto message, you know, where the person is going to be asked a question. Okay, mostly that's what creates the curiosity. All right. And when it creates curiosity, the person clicks on it. Just like this, it says, would you like to get 300 plus free tools to your, for your marketing needs? Now this is an example question or you could say an intro text now i could easily go ahead and enter this would you like to get 300 plus free tools for your marketing needs so normally uh, we ask a question because it actually intrigues the user and the user falls into uh, opening the chat the next thing which it says is opt-in question now this is a sequence which is really important so next thing what you could do is now as soon as you hover over it or click on it it would open up and it would say now it has got another question which could be added here it says opt-in question now this is a question which will appear just like this and it is asking would you like to get 300 tools per for your marketing needs these are extensive and took me a lot of time to collate you interested yes or no so the opt-in question would obviously be something you know driving more curiosity towards the first open loop which we have done right now so we go ahead and let me just uh, for the sake of simplicity i'll copy this and we'll move forward then you could go ahead you know these uh, two speech bubbles which are yes and no these are by default okay so the person could say yes or the person could say no right so the reply for no could also be just easily so for example if i say no then uh, you know Another question would be, I mean, uh, you could just go ahead and maybe you could tell them or give them something else which they may be interested in, in, you know, at the first place, they might go ahead and, you know, opt in for some other freebie, perhaps. So next thing is email question. When user clicks, yes, you have to collect their email ID, right? So for example, right now here, if I go and say yes, it will ask me something, you know, a question, another question. So it will say, great, can I have your email ID? So what you could do is you could go ahead and ask for the person's email ID right here. And then you could say uh, that I will not sell or your information ever. All right, so this is something which will increase your conversions for obviously. So next thing is you could, uh, you know, what you could do is you could ask, go and ask a name as well. For example, if I, for example, right now, if I say ABC here or ABS, it will tell me that, you know, the email is not valid. So it has to be a valid email ID. So I could go ahead and now I could give my email ID just to make sure that everything is working fine. Here we go. Now, as soon as I give my email ID, the next thing is you could ask the person for the question. It says, can I have your name as well? All right. So, so what you could do is now as like understand this very, very importantly that now since the email ID has been collected, the email has already been submitted to your autoresponder, which you may have integrated with opt-in chat. The user does not really have to re reply to this question as well, but the user has already replied, uh, meaning, you know, he's already in a sequence of replying. So now you could go ahead and ask more questions. This is where opt-in chat is really, really powerful because in other, uh, you know, opt-in forms or, or pop-ups for that matter, if you increase the number of fields, then perhaps the conversion rate would be going down. But in this case, if you go ahead and collect more information after this question as well, your, your email is already been collected. So the drop off would be almost negligible. That's what the power of opt-in chat really is. Now, next thing what you could do is like if it says, let's say my name is Gaurav, call me Gaurav. 
Now, after this, you, the person is done, you could go ahead and ask another question as well, or you could just say thank you. All right. So another question could have been possibly this is mobile number question it says, but it's optional. So it can be mobile number or it can be any other question for that matter. For example, if I go ahead and I ask that, uh, you know, would you be okay? So I could say, what's your favorite tool? Perhaps what I could do is if I'm asking what's your favorite tool, I get a sense of uh, you know what exactly the person is really into or, or I could ask literally any question I want here all right so based on this I could do a lot of segmenting uh, right here now other than that you could also have a thank you message uh, once the person has entered his email ID just like this I have gone ahead and configured this thank you message you could put your URL here of the thank you page or you could just say thank you we've received your email ID and your account would be created or whatever you are doing uh, you know to collect the email ID whatever you have promised in exchange uh, as a freebie could be delivered here or you could go ahead and just say that it would be delivered to your email all right now next uh, thing you know few of the things is like we have this has email validation this even has phone number validation for that matter all right and then uh, you could also go ahead and you could say now there are certain things where we could do uh, you know we could have exact match or contains on which particular uh, email, I mean, uh, on which particular URLs do you want to display this particular pop-up? You could go ahead and say that I want to display this pop-up on my entire website. And I could say just that it contains, if the user URL contains this, then uh, perhaps it should be going ahead and you should show this particular pop-up. Or you could go ahead and you could just say that you want on a certain particular pages and not on all pages. All right, so this is something which is uh, already there. This is really, really powerful stuff here. Okay, and once you've done this, you could either use this as exit uh, intent pop-up. All right, so you could also say email question and thank you message there in exit intent. All right, or you could use it normally as well. So I could go ahead and save this. And now once I've done this, I could save this up and uh, I just have to add this script. All right wherever you want this particular uh, chat bot or AI powerful chat model to appear to collect your email IDs on your blogs, websites, funnels, wherever you're pitching it up. So you could go ahead and just put this particular JavaScript and it's all done. That's how simple it is. You could go ahead and you could, even if you have a WordPress website or uh, if you have any other form of website, which uh, you, know, you would like to install it on, we have all the integrations available. Other than this, what we have is we have integrations with a lot of tools. We have a webhook available. Uh, you could actually hook it up to anything you like with your personal APIs and stuff. And if you want, like we have Google Sheets, we have MailChimp, MailerLite, ConvertKit, Zapier, Aweber, GetResponseDrip. We, ha we have more uh, We have more integrations coming soon. So that should, that is not a problem. Other than that, you could have some settings here. You could say that do you want to show up in chat or on mobile or not? Or do you want to go ahead and receive weekly reports, daily reports, and even if you have to uninstall opt-in chat, it's very simple. You don't have to remove the code. Uh, you could just you know switch off this particular button which says uh, off, and then you could say it will be given an alert. You could go ahead and do that, and opt-in chat would not be visible on your website or funnel anymore. It's extremely simple. It's just one switch. Uh, other than that, uh, we have. Uh, quite a visualization of stuff uh, we have the funnels it, here you could go ahead and measure your stats uh, we have the records where you would be able to see all the email opt-ins available and then we have certain other features you could also go ahead and do quite a lot of other things as well for example you could go ahead and say create an a by b test with one click you'll be able to split test your opt-in chat campaign and see which can whose conversion is more all right so I hope this makes it clear and precise how opt-in chat works. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. We'll be happy to help you out.